everybody, it's Gem from Twizzles here and I've got my special best friend with me today as well, it's Jaffa. Jaffa's a Border Terrier, but today I'm going to be making her a bandana, so let's get started and I'll show you what to do. So as you can see, I've already cut out my pattern using the Twizzles dog bandana pattern. You should have two pattern pieces. I'm using a cotton fabric today, but you can use a fleece if you wanted something warmer or um, even something lighter if you line it with an interfacing. So you'll need to pin the two pieces together. Once you've pinned the two pieces together, you're going to go ahead and sew around the edge. And you're, just, you're going to leave the top edge free, so you're not going to sew that edge. You just sew along the sides like this. There's a 1cm seam allowance on the pattern. So let's get started. Okay, so I've sewn around the edge of my bandana here. And now what I'm going to do is turn it so it's the right way. Okay, so now that you've turned it the right way, I'm going to press with an iron all the seams so they're laying nice and flat, and then I'm going to overlock the top edge along here on my overlocker. So now I'm going to overlock the top edge after pressing my seams. I'm using a rolled hem, but you can use a standard hem. You don't have to use a rolled hem. I'm only using the rolled hem because I've already set up the machine like that and don't want to change it. Okay, so I've overlocked my top edge here. And now, as marked on the pattern, you're going to fold it over four and a half centimeters down from the top, so this way. So I'll go ahead and mark my four and a half centimetres. And you just fold it down like that and I place some pins along here. And I'm going to press this edge along here and then I'll straight stitch down the very bottom along my overlocking down here. Okay, so your dog bandana should be finished now and it should look something like this and there's little holes on this side that go all the way through so you can slip the collar in easily and take it on and off when you want. Okay, so that's how it should look and you're able to slide it any way you want on the collar and it can move around. So let's test it out on Jaffa. And here's the beautiful model, Jaffa, with her new bandana. She's very happy and pleased with it. Shall we test it out more? how to make a dog bandana. I think that my dog's very impressed and happy with it and even the cat came in to have a look and she wants one as well. So I'll see you later. Bye!